Brad. Uh, can I help you? Hey, hey, man, can I please make a um, pickup order? Is that okay? You guys still open? Okay, what about later? Let's go fried rice for the honey chicken. Help! Help me! Help me! Help me! Do you guys do any of those, like, for entrees, have any of those um, spring rolls? One serve a spring roll? Yeah, one serving a spring rolls, please. Help! Help me! What's the other beef one you guys have? Like the sizzling Sichuan beef or some shit? Sichuan beef. And so I'll need to get another couple of... Help! <laughs> 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 Poisoned the neighbor's dogs. No, you didn't. What's the biggest thing you've ever killed? <sighs> the biggest uh, thing I've ever killed. Probably like a um Oh man. Well I think I've I've I remember I, who was driving when we hit that kangaroo on the road trip? I was. I think I'd block that out. <laughs> That's the biggest thing. But just, I don't I don't think it would have died. Maybe. Yeah, it just clipped it. it. It like nearly jumped into the fucking window. I can't. I was fucking. I was fucking hammered in the fucking back, cunt, with fucking two schooners in my fucking hand. <laughs> they fucking were kang- toys. He's fucking kangaroo. He can't fucking fly in. Suck its head through the window, and I fucking passed the one, and it necked it and fucked off. Pretty much. I remember it just sort <laughs> of it bouncing in the field, and then Henry saying, "Dude, is that going to hit us?" I was like, nah, no way. And then it just kept getting closer and closer. Then it gets to Henry going from calm to just, no, dude, 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 it's going to hit, it's going to hit. And then it hit the side, but then it sort of bounced off and did its thing again. Oh. So they're so like crazy. It's like, oh, I'm scared of that thing. And then they just like run into it. Yeah, this, I think they get attracted to the light. Yeah, well, it, 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 we, no, it was daytime. Stupid. Yeah, it was, should have been jumping to the sun. <laughs> it's <stupid>. even worse. <laughs> <laughs> Could have run in any other maybe direction. Maybe just because fine. kangaroos are always like ready for a rumble. Or maybe. Yeah, probably like, you, you fucking starch me, can't. And or just maybe run. it was a suicidal um, kangaroo. Yeah, that's a good point. Depression has been on the rise in the marsupial um, kingdom. And uh-uh. we just want to raise awareness for that. And if you want to um, donate to it, just go to marsupialdepression.org and you can donate there. We'll put the link in our description. Oh, I just realized what the biggest thing I've killed is it was a possum I oh, ran over not- yeah I know it's not the biggest thing but the the how it happened was bad I was driving home it was like two in the morning and I and it, ran, it just did the drunk. same thing ran across the road and I was like I was like oh shit tried to swerve so it would go under and I just heard <laughs> but you were too drunk. <laughs> and I got out just to see like how badly it was and, and then it you just got it off it. its leg was broken and it was looking at me it was like <laughs> just screaming oh, out in pain oh, oh. <laughs> and I was like fuck this is Terrible. And then you had to reverse over and pop its little skull to finish it off. You were hammered drunk that night, man. <laughs> you were fucking wasted that night. You should not have been driving. I got an STD that night. <laughs> really? Really? Yeah. Man, that smell, I can't, we've got to bring it back up. It's getting worse. And it's. Yeah, it's, I'm used what to What direction it, is it? Because I'm not getting it, but I did smell it when I walked in the room. Oh, it is. It's the fucking. Oh, man, oh. that's a yuck ass, eh? It's the fucking fly trap. Do you just want to put it outside? I don't think I can be fucked walking from here to there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like five meters. It's like two, but I just can't be fucked taking my headphones off, balancing to get. Yeah, it's that's just too hard. difficult. That's an insight to what it's like to work on this. Is yeah, yeah. we get we get bored of things quick. Um, maybe next season we can invest in the new soundboard and that way you can buy uh, cordless headphones and you can walk around. That would be yeah, more, no, 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 no. <laughs> 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 no, no. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. Well, well, what anyway. did you do on the weekend? Um, what did we do? Um, <sighs> fuck, that's gone now, dude, that memory. Yeah, what the fuck? That was like a week not. ago. Did I see you? What the fuck happened on the week? Oh, Are by you- the way, everyone, we're filming on a Friday night. We usually film on a Monday, but Michael's sick on Monday. So, and we were busy all the other days. So today's the only day that we can do it. So it's like oh, the, our weekend was like six days ago. We haven't just forgotten yeah. what happened yesterday. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, maybe we have. Yeah, I'm very tired. I've worked. Yeah, and man. It's been a big fucking a fuck off week, bro. Holy fucking shit. We're fucking... Because after next week, it's Michael's bucks like early... In- at the end of next week yeah. and so we have and then we have a week off so we have to get all that content and everything ready like by the middle of next week for like three weeks so we have to do basically like two weeks work in like a few days which is why it's just pumping out big days and we tried to film the fucking the, that host documentary today yeah wow what was the other thing we did nearly got it done I reckon that would be pretty funny hopefully but man I went blind today man oh, I, lost, that's right. I lost sight for like 30 minutes 
Have you ever just gone blind in your eyes ever? Well, you've had a few things happen to you. Yeah, it's weird, you've man. You've lost like, a you tooth? Know when you, when you, yeah, yeah. You've gone my, blind? My tooth just chipped out. Half my tooth just fell out yesterday. And you had a mild heart attack? When? I fucking um, was just, we were filming and like, it'd been a long day and I didn't quite feel right. And then, I just, you know when you stare at a light and then you look away and there's like a little bit of a, Blur. a little bit of like a, like I do a it for dot. fun. Yeah. It's like fun to do. Yeah, just yeah, watch the look sun. Right now you look at the light and then you and look you next to the light and there's a bit of like a, it's that, but it gets bigger and bigger and grows and then it just kind of works its way into my peripheral vision and then disappears. It sort of be fun if it was just for a bit, but it was like for two hours. Yeah, yeah. So usually, you couldn't usually, see for two hours. No, no. It's just like it, just like it, a little bit harder to see out of one eye. So if I was looking at your face, like there'd be like a block of this that I just can't see. It's black. Have you got retina cancer or something? Why are you saying? Why are you well, saying these two, things? I don't like the word <laughs> retina, and I don't like the second word either. <laughs> no, I'm just checking. Oh, well, that's scary, isn't it? I don't um, know. It's probably it's it's, it's, uh, it's, it's sort of cool. cool. It it's cool if it's just for a bit. Like it happens, like it happened. I'm keeping track of it now. It happened four months ago. I still remember well. that story you told me when you were on the phone and you had some of that really, really pure oh, stuff yeah. from another country. And oh, that was terrifying. I was went, on the phone to Luke. You just went completely blind. Yeah, I, I went what they call and what I now realize is snow blind when you do like really a large amount of um really strong um drug your blood vessels constrict and then you f- you fucking Vision even goes yeah oh becomes ton of so that. you just saw it what everything just started yeah, to shrink and black like, it was just and black then, and then i was like nearly panicking and just was like oh, i'm gonna go and you sprinted <laughs> back to the house because i thought i was gonna go fucking blind oh man no, yeah, but the oh. weekend last weekend, we oh, we had a good Sunday night. Me and Mon, we went to bloody um, Alfredo's. Uh, no, Mon's parents' place and had a few drinks with them. But and then Saturday night was the girls' hand. So what did I? I just chilled at home. Did we do anything that night? We went for dinner and then I went home. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> and then and Friday night, yeah, nothing. Fucking. And we wormsed. Oh yeah, how's ever? I know, understand the um, censoring is annoying on YouTube. By the way, if you want to watch the uncensored or version where we don't have to um, uh, sort of remove our more ext- the more extreme things we say, go to our Spotify. But um, if the beeping is getting annoying, I thought what well, instead of the air horn sound when we edit the censors, why don't we just make a like a funnier sound so at least then it's bearable to hear. Like a fluff. Yeah, like a fluff sound or something. Like oh. one of the old fucking um, farts from fucking well, like back from season two it was or something. Like, no, like really you're long. Fucking, your whole manscape, that would be, you know, fucking shave your bob. It would just, yeah, be, just non- be a lot of farts. Yeah, which farts. is great. It doesn't have to be farts. It could be burps. It could be like it a could be a little giggle. Yeah, yeah a little giggle. <laughs> <laughs> could be that sound that we like. Like... Uh. <laughs> Oh, we'll see what, maybe she would see what Connor can do. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's not Connor that does it. We Connor does the he does oh, the do Spotify the edit, and then okay. we we redo it for YouTube. The boys sort of redo it for YouTube. But anyway, that's um enough enough about that boring shit. Sorry, we got a banger episode. We got a special guest coming in at eight o'clock. I wish the fucking chair worked. Yeah, the, uh-huh. well, it's probably all broken because it's urine through the yeah, ears. Yeah, you, you have pissed it a few times. Um, <sighs> Anyway, sorry. We got a crazy Matt vs. Michael. We got a prank call. You don't have a guest. And it's just going to be a while. So li- Everyone was so upset last time. <laughs> we, we didn't We didn't come back and, and correct, to correct that. We didn't, we didn't this time we seriously finished that lie. <laughs> uh, who? Just wait and see. Wha- but we see wow. It. <laughs> wow, uh, just coming. Wow. <laughs> they got a little smile from say Matt. that. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Is that W A L T? I thought there was W A L N T. Wow. Wow. I should call him your kid. Wow. <laughs> what should we call it? He's beautiful. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Why haven't you told me about Wount? 
don't know, man. I just thought you knew. Can't just make up guests. <laughs> well, rain check, Matt. We're lying. <laughs> Uh, that's a lying saying. Done. Done. Now Fuck, we, 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 give, we give so much to everyone. Yeah, that's a good lie. That's, that's worth $50. Well, before you get into it. <laughs> By the way, the podcast live yeah. tickets are on sale right oh, yeah. now. Um, they went to the website members first. So then they c- went to you guys. I believe they went on sale last week. Wild. 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 <laughs> we'll link in the description. It's in Brisbane. Oh. We're gonna we're gonna do the live show and then we're all gonna go get drunk somewhere. Like you're all welcome to come. We've got a bar tab. So they're expecting us. So come watch us and then come get come drink with up. us and fucking dog shot and Matt in the back. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't wanna put violence out there. Sorry. Look at the what's Matt's dressed to as that. today. Before we get into the show. Oh fuck no, you! For fuck's sake. Because we had the because um Maddie sent us all those stickers last episode. Garden. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get to put out the stickers from last episode. <laughs> oh, true. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's, that's yeah. Some it's, good we're, shit, we're in for dude. a fucking real treat here. Matt's going to put yeah. multiple stickers on his lap tape. Now, th- this is. <laughs> oh, this is important though because these are the ones I shoplifted and I've just realized I still haven't gone back and paid for them. Oh my God. Wow. You, so you're a thief. Yeah. And I feel Dude, fucking bad. That woman, that woman that we prank all this be like, what the fuck? Was, remember that? We're That's, like, we're redoing that screaming for help shit. Dude. Yeah, that, yeah. Is, that made me so yeah, happy. It really made me quite happy too. Oh man. It's nice seeing what people do. Uh, so yeah, there's two stickers. There. I couldn't <laughs> pick it's one. It's a weird thing to hear, especially <laughs> if I so deliver clear. it with, with such commitment. Like, please help me, help me. It's not like a background person. It's <laughs> yes. someone on the phone <laughs> screaming at you. Did she just ignore us? <laughs> yeah, yeah, she just kind of, kind of let. So what do you slide. got? Sorry. Um, well, I couldn't decide which one I got, but I did get a little unicorn, which reminded us me of the podcast. Oh, okay. But then I had a little donut, which reminded me of the Simpsons. So I like the donut. Put it yeah, on. So I'm just gonna do both. Um, Pikachu's got an ant on it. There's a few ants on the laptop. Yeah, how did the ants get there? <laughs> Holy, I can't see that. Oh yeah, I see it. <laughs> under Ma- under Matt's clothes was just big these ants nest and all these holes in his skin and ants crawling around. <laughs> the ants are my friends. Yeah, they are. Oh, it doesn't stick. They are your friends. The they donut are. won't stick. Oh no, it's a sign. Well, you should never ever lucky, do stickers again. Yeah, lucky you had two stickers. I guess that's because I stole them and I got karma. Yeah, that's karma, bitch. Anyway, that'll fall off. Did it go? No, nah, bro, that's fucking on there, good brother. No, nah, it just came off. Yeah, it's off now. But anyway, <laughs> it just fell off. <laughs> it takes in your foot. <laughs> that's the struggle of stickers. <laughs> Dude, just the the <laughs> the struggle of stickers. We just put <laughs> for everyone, <laughs> everyone listening on Spotify. Matt checked where the sticker had fallen, but it was still on his laptop. Oh man, we got him so good oh. then. Anyway, oh, yeah, dude, you got got then. Yeah, I don't know what happened. There. Just <laughs> anyway, if you okay. if, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and give us a five star review on Spotify. Spotify, please. We really fucking appreciate it, bro. Yeah. And we've been getting some podcasts monetized recently. That's so fucking cool, bro. That's that's because crazy how quality this is. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, let's move on to the bloody sponsors. Ain't enough fucking chit chatting around. Let's get these fucking dogs sucked off. Let's suck these dogs off who's for a bit of cash. Who's okay? Who's up? Um, do you know what? Oh wait, look. <clears throat> AG one. Those are the only three words, letters, and numbers you need to know because that will give you the ultimate in health. With 75 vital nutrients and minerals in it, there is no way you can get this shit even from the most balanced of diets. This is just so healthy for you. It's GMO free, it's dairy free, it's all these other things free. You pay a subscription, it rocks up at your door, you put a scoop in a cup and you drink it once a day. It's a really good flavor and you get 75 Vital nutrients and minerals. You fucking, you fucking idiot. You can't get that from what you're eating right now. You fucking pig. Not even sperm Don't you has dare that. get so complacent as to think you get that from your diet. You are a fucking dumb bitch. 
Now go to AG1 slash fully actual for our discount. Go get a free fucking travel pack. Because this is bullshit, man. You're slowly dying and you're letting it fucking happen. Do something about your health. Take control and get out there. And yeah, with a gun. Get out there with a gun and bang, 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 bang. Bang, 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 bang. bang. <laughs> I think we have to cut that. <laughs> yeah, as long as you don't point it at people. Yeah, yeah. yeah, just yeah. The air. No, just in a safe gun, environment. Yeah, like, like, like a real gun. Yeah, like out of a car at a bridge. Jeez. And it's green. Which is cool. It's like the Ninja Turtles. Plus, new it's film Australia. Who's got bloody guns here? No one. Will you come and see the Ninja Turtle film with me? I would rather die, dude. I no, I would go for three hundred. If you gave me three hundred and fifty dollars, I'd go see it. <laughs> anyway, AG One link in our description. Um, suck. Yeah. <sighs> you fucking pig. You and your swollen body, gross with toxins, as you waste your life. Why even get up? Why even get out of bed if you're not going to even try? Just stay there. Stay and rot. Don't even eat. No one will notice. Smell. Unless you go to fucking manscaped.com and start using their male grooming products and slowly start chipping away at the huge pile of shit that is your fucking life. Dig your way out from the center of the massive shitty stink mess that you fucking dug yourself and fucked yourself up in. You fucking dig out with your little shovel and you can get your little shovels at manscaped.com. All kinds of shavers and ball wipes and fucking smell shit and hair gone here it's and grooming. strip He's your grooming. shit here. You want to you fucking do something? You want to fucking do something, huh? Hit Matt! Fucking hit him! Fucking hit him! Hit Matt and go to manscaped.com. Use no. our discount code. Fully actual 20 for 20% off. There, done. Now, oh, I can't afford it. I can't afford it. Shut up! There you go, 20% discount. Done. And if you don't have money after having a 20% discount, then go and steal from someone. <laughs> also for women. I'm scared someone's going to attack me. <laughs> a dog shot straight to your liver. And I'm from the back. And I'm weak right now. No, no, yeah, please do not hit. If you hit Matt, then we we will all have to hit you. And try yeah. not to steal, but if you have to, to get the product, nah, don't steal, but work hard, buy it, then you'll feel better. And all, it's also for um, ah, women. It's also for big Hungarian women who have huge plumes of fur <laughs> growing on their backs. <laughs> And the average woman as well, I guess, could go and get a get a bit snipped up. Little plumes, little cute, little cute plumes. Yuck! It's yeah, it's manscaped, but it's for women. It should be womenscaped too. It's everything scaped. And we have a huge new sponsor. We would like to introduce. We've spoken about them before too, and this is like fully crazy. It's taken a while to get here, but we do have mats chair oh should we get that for Kleiner now well that's what I mean bro uh-huh. well look at this everyone Matt's new chair has something to do with our new sponsor oh Matt Dirkley huh <laughs> is it a heavy club <laughs> that's <laughs> fucking <laughs> cheap pop yourself up baby bro oh. so for everyone who can't see um we have just brought in a small bar fridge, which Mother Energy Drink has given us. And you, one of our new sponsors for the show is Mother Energy Drink. And they're actually sponsoring... Oh, look, Matt knocked over his athletic greens. That's funny. Oh! They're going to sponsor the prank call segment. Okay? So thank you so much, Mother Energy Drink, for supporting us because this, again, helps. Anyway, fucking that's enough with sponsoring. Look at that, Matt. Brand new chair. Beautiful. I want you to say something about it. Um, into the microphone. It's actually not too bad. I feel. Oh, can you check my height, please? Um, I feel uh elevated. Is it like the first time you've been in <laughs> higher than us? Do you remember the ergonomics chair that made me giggle? It did. It did get a good laugh. But you know what? It did do good. <laughs> <laughs> the ergonomics really, chair was yeah, good but for like me. you can't be cool in an ergonomics chair, never ever. You like, can yeah. ever, yeah. But it's annoying, but like you, like it looks so bad. Yeah. 
All right. Well, I'm all right with this one. <laughs> I think in the next next episode we'll plug it in, eh? You should thank mother. Yeah, thank mother. Thank you, mother. Which we do. Thank you, mother. All right, let's fucking move along. Eh? What do we fucking got here, can't eh? Bit of fucking Matt versus Michael, is it? It's Matt versus. Wait, Michael. wait, wait, wait! Before we move a minute of R. Bong break. Have you ever? Ever been round me? Did you spill that thing? <laughs> more, really? more green on coal. More, more stain. Does that mean it's going to smell more? Stinky smell now, hey? Stinky oh. smell now. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's soaked into the carpet. No, it's not. He's lying to me because he's making too much of a deal of it. <laughs> that so overanalyzes everything you say. I've lost my... Um, <laughs> Confidence. Yeah, I've lost confidence. <laughs> um, my my ability to trust is gone. Um, he can't trust his closest friends. Yeah, you you if can't any, you come home anything that we say. You come home and you're either attacked or you're you know <laughs> you're, you're bullied or you or, you it's know it's only when you play shit game or you um <laughs> you know you say something really good to me and you're like no nah, it's a lie <laughs> <laughs> yeah i love i love telling you good news that's happening to the podcast but it's not really yeah, <laughs> yeah that's a fun. <laughs> And now, and like, there were big lies at the start. And you can so, do it to me, dude. I do sometimes. Yeah, you get, you're quite, you're learning. And you I, do do it. You give it back. Yeah, I, but I, we do big lies sometimes and it hurts, and, but it's all right. But then, you know what gets me? It's the little lies. And I loved the lie that I got <laughs> using you as the bait for when we went camping. I lied to the boys yeah, the whole that day. Was a big one. Oh, so, you called me. So it was like, no, yeah, no, yeah. I pretended I was on the phone to Matt in no, the morning at the cafe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know, yeah. Oh, yeah but remember when I, I called him and he didn't know what the fuck I was talking about? Yeah. Yeah, that was. And still the whole time he's sitting there not saying a word. <laughs> so I told everyone at camping that Brown was coming in the, like, the, in the evening and we're at the cafe in the morning. I faked a call. Pretending to talk to Brown, saying, "Oh, Brown, so you are coming." Everyone believed me, thinking I was on the phone to Brown because I, I was originally coming. I was originally going to be there, yeah. and then literally I waited till like five o'clock. We we're driving in, and everyone's like, "Where is he?" And I got Marty to call him, and that's when. Yeah, like, and I was like, what? "I was like, how far away are you?" And that's like, "What do you mean?" So we had this conversation. <laughs> remember, I'm not coming. Remember? Yeah. yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, I'm not coming. Remember? It's always yeah, it's always fun. Uh, anyway, what the fuck are we doing? Yeah, well, what I was saying was it's the little lies that hurt. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> it's the little lies that make the big lies even better. You sometimes say to me, hey, man, I'm going to stay over tonight. I'm gonna, just going to play Worms and hang out. And it's such a good feeling because I'm so lonely. <laughs> but sometimes I do, and then we play Worms. Yeah, and that really warms my heart. But, but yeah, it is. got to keep, you know, keep you on your toes. Makes it exciting. Like. Oh, I don't need to be kept on my toes. It's <laughs> scary here. <laughs> okay, sorry. Matt likes to be firmly on his heels. But yeah, that is running it did tip over, so there's fly stuff everywhere. <laughs> oh! oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! It went all over the cords. I'm oh, sorry. Oh no! I'm sorry, oh, dude. Oh, it smells so ah! bad. Oh, oh, oh my god, smell. it smells so bad. Michael's just dropped a fly trap, and the soup has gone everywhere. There is fly, fly bait oh, man. soup it, on the floor. Ah! It's made the room different, oh. and there's a fly in here. Ah! Bring it back in. Dude, there's a fly. Ugh. Oh, it's a moss. It's okay. It's a moss? Change the scenario. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, dude. It's on the cords. I didn't realize. Yeah, that's It like must have tipped over before shit. when I moved the chair. You know that shit? that black stuff? Shit's like a million years old, up. isn't it? Yeah, the dinosaur fossil poo. It's crazy. Jono said How do that they in. Know that? How do they I don't know that. I don't know. Put in your mouth. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I just put a million year old fossilized shit popped it straight in his mouth. I think I'd rather put fossilized shit in my mouth though than actual Dude, shit. What the yeah, fuck? You just put shit in your mouth. Yeah, definitely. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> you sit there like a smart. normal human being after but I did Google shit it. in your mouth. I did Google it and they were like, oh yeah, well, scientists have found, you know, um, 
uh, like what are the little things you get inside you? The garden? Yeah. Worms. Worm, or like um, <laughs> parasites. They found sort parasites in fossilized shit. <laughs> I was like, oh. Imagine if you had a dinosaur worm <laughs> crawling around in you now. <laughs> Look at how fucking wild he looks. <laughs> anyway, fuck me. Keep getting distracted. Matt vs. Michael. Hit it, Brown. Here we go. Hit, hit, hit. Michael, it's Matt vs. Michael today. Shit. Matt vs. Michael, it's Matt vs. Michael, it's Matt vs. Michael today. Yay! Come, come, come have fun. Come, come, come. Oh, ooh, what's the come? Come have fun. Come have fun. Come have fun today. Bottle of cum. Um, uh, and this is a segment where Matt and Michael go head to head. It is currently... It's 15, 13. You're too okay? But Holy shit, I don't remember that. Okay. Look, um... Go back and watch last week's Matt vs. Michael because we have a controversy. Do we? Yes. You're Fuck not aware off. Of this. You're not aware of this. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Which one was the last one that we brought out? The uh, we the eating competition between you both. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> there was raw meat in yours. No, no it I'm wasn't. Kidding. Look, I would have seen it. Michael, and I didn't even know this, he confessed to me, so, you know, Give him props for that. I just admitted it was to, funny. Admitted to tampering with the wheat bix and the peanut butter during the competition. He was scraping some peanut butter off. Onto the plate. Off onto the side of the couch. Oh, that's so cruel. How did you nobody notice that? Well, maybe they did. The podcast just hasn't come out yet. Well, it would have now. They yeah, would have yeah, it would, it's out now, yeah. So Matt hasn't known this till now. How dare you? So, so hey. look, it's fi- it's fifteen. No, you know what? I'm not going to fucking because if I thought of it, I would have done it too. Oh, okay. I was going to give you a point. But give back, me a point back. A, give me a point. No, back. I can't now. You've admitted oh. that you're no better a man than he. You're being, <laughs> oh, we're anti-heroes. <laughs> That's you can't cheat, dude. <clears throat> Taylor Swift. But she would be upset. Um. Okay. So. God. It's time to get ahead even more. But yeah, that was. Look, I did the sly like this. Scraped it, came off. Oh, that's less so peanut harsh. butter to consume. Mind you, the peanut butter made it easy to eat the wheat bit. I think it did too. The the, the hard so, bit was all the dryness sucking up your. I sort of fluids. gave myself a disadvantage by getting rid of the peanut butter. <laughs> no, not really. Dryness. Because this peanut butter dries it up too. Just broke it up. Anyway, fucking hell. The so winner- you're giving me a point. No, no, I was. And, oh, we've, let's we were put both the, anti-heroes. Let's put the mince bottle in a box or something, I reckon. Just okay. so it's still with us. It's not bad. Yeah, like, it feels wrong not having like it I like not having it on the set. Well, um, yeah, all right. We'll, we'll find a box we'll find to it, bring right. it back. We'll find it. We've right. had to take it down because we've... Been yeah, told look, to guys, take it the, the mince bottle will return. But that's what they're playing for, yeah. okay? It's 15, 13 to Michael. That whoever wins at the end of the season gets to keep the mince bottle and do with it whatever they want during the finale. And still, nobody has guessed the right number of loads. Yeah, everyone was trying. They've slowed down, but and the boys will fly you to Australia. What's Free. a load? The lo- if you lo- guess it right, of loads in the um, yeah, bottle. There was some very say. close. Someone, someone to say one that. person got real close. Yeah, there was some one off. I'm pretty sure. Nah, it wasn't that close. What can I move for? All right, here we go. Today, the competition is. Who's better at making faces? Faces, faces. Oh, faces. So I'm going to give you guys an emotion and you have to do a very extreme face with that emotion and then you have to hold it for four seconds. Fuck. This okay. should be in your your event. You're very good at that. Should we take out the clank, clank, clank? If you think off? that will help, if you think that will help. Well, it depends what the face is. If you say a certain thing, and I think the glasses will help, I will put the glasses. If back you on. if yeah. you laugh during your hold, I will deduct points. Oh, for it. that is tough. Okay, yeah. so we have to hold. Do we look at you or the camera? Um, you the person making the face looks at the camera, but the um the other two obviously can watch the person making the face. Okay. As the um, which camera? Are we allowed to antagonize the other that one camera? so they do laugh, or is that against? No, the rules? no touching or. Yeah, but touch you can laugh. I wasn't going to do that. You I can just laugh know. yourself though. You can if you think his face is funny, you can laugh. Yeah. Okay. All right. The first emotion is. Wait, s- hang on. Do we both do the emotion, or do we get one? No, no. Go, 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 you go. paper scissors rock after I give you the emotion. Yep. Your first emotion is sad. I want to see your most extreme sad face. And I mean extreme sadness. All right, scissors, paper, rock to see who goes first. Scissors, scissors paper, paper, brown. Rock. 
Scissors, paper, brown. Hang on there. Oh, yeah, My God, will be going first. Extreme sadness for a four second hold. Three, two, one, go. Three, four. Yeah, that is very sad. <laughs> All right, now Brown. Can Brown go sadder than that? All right. Three, two, one, go. Okay, yep. In terms of severity, I think Michael looked sadder. Yeah, he's got. I, I've said this before. He's had. He'll have better facial expressions. I, I had golf lessons. <laughs> Michael had golf lessons, so he's going to be good at sad face. <laughs> Okay. Oh, it's all right. it's man, I thought you did very well, so I'm very impressed that I won that. Okay. All right. You Next. go first this time. Next emotion is surprised. Extreme surprised. You ready? Do I go first? Yeah. All right, can you come in? Yeah. Three, two, one. Two. Oh, okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, Michael. <clears throat> Three, two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> Four. All right. Michael's face was very, very good, but I would I say that's, that's more shocking. shocking. Yeah. 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 I think Michael just missed the brief. I think the shake made it more shocking. <laughs> Shit. Have you ever felt Shit. like brown? When brown things happen, when, when you're, you're going, going round the, the brown, brown, have you heard the brown about the brown and the brown brown? He browned and browned and browned inside her. Um, people at Wholesome are really getting used to the me adding brown to songs and singing them. And round the twist is one I throw out regularly. Yeah, they they're frustrated yet they enjoy it. All right, so it's one all. The next emotion is, funnily enough, Michael is shocking. Extreme shock, and Michael is first. All right, uh, like extremely shocking. Like you've seen something really, really shocking. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Three, four, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty fucking good. All right, Matt. Extremely shocked. In Can you come in, please. Oh, sorry. In three, two. One. <laughs> yeah, very good. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Shit, man, that's a tough one. That's a very close one. Look, I think Michael just had it. All right, Is two it? one. Yes, two one to Michael currently. All right, next face should suit you, Matt. All right, extremely horny, extremely <laughs> horny face. Hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is good. Like you just must fuck. You must fuck. Yeah, three, two, one. <laughs> oh man, he's good at that, dude. He's yeah. fucking good at that. Imagine that looking at you from across a nightclub. Yeah, I'm trying to fucking channel this. <laughs> All right, Michael Horny in three, two, one. <laughs> that is fucking ridiculous. That is a zero kilo like. Yeah, dude, that's fucking terrifying, man. No, that's in terms of hitting the brief. I'd have to say Matt, uh, Matt won that one. Shit, I always go off the. You should have got a bit of a lip by like. <laughs> All right. Fuck. Okay. Two all. And the final one. Oh, no. <clears throat> Fuck, it's down to a... You are extremely scared. I want to see your extreme scared face. Can you have a sound in there? What was the first no, one we did? No, just must be a face. Hey? What's the first one we did? Sad. Sad. Oh, okay. All right. Michael, you're up What first. was the second one we did? Uh, surprised, shocked, oh, surprised, horny, shocked. and now scared. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go. (laughs) 
<laughs> That's very good. That's very good. All right, Matt. Extremely scared in three, two, one, go. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad, not bad, but surprise. I'm gonna have to give that one to Michael. Really? But yeah, yep, the scared. Michael I didn't nailed think he the scared. scared at all. Man. What's the score? Do I win? Yeah, that's a win to Michael. Three, two. But look, to be to let's 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 maintain some integrity in this competition. We can't let things unravel. All right. Michael <laughs> cheated last week. We can't forget that. It is a little bit off. That's a ta- that's tampering. So look, I'm gonna I'm gonna by default have to give Matt from last week, which would have made it fourteen all. So now it's fifteen fourteen to Michael. Next time I'm not gonna fucking say it. Yeah, hundred percent. And who knows, he probably has cheated in previous episodes, <laughs> so just keep an eye out. Look at the brown fondling with his garden wrist. <laughs> his garden <laughs> wrist. <laughs> Is there such a thing? <laughs> yeah, there's two. <laughs> All right, let's move right along, hey? It's time for Matt Brown's Tinder Adventures. T I N D R, we have Matt's Tinder. Ha, ha, ha. Matthew Brown has lost control. Now these women will lose their soul. And this is a segment where we have taken over Matt Brown's Tinder and we talk to the girls for him and get him matches and get him get him bitches and sex and dates and he loves it and he's yeah, yeah, he loves it because he can't do it himself. You heard. He's getting all the sluts. <laughs> oh, I am. <laughs> I am not getting any sluts. I get nothing out of this. Oh, yeah, you choose to do nothing with them, but they are presented to you on a golden platter, mate. More like a broken platter. Yeah, a broken shard of glass and meth. And mints. <laughs> now, we have an update. Oh, yeah, yeah. This was so funny when someone in our... I forget. Oh, no, it was a, uh, a friend sent me a screenshot of this group, um, this Facebook group, in, and this finally happened. I'm glad it has of, of this Facebook group saying like um, look at this creep like this this is a guy I spoke to on Tinder like and took a screenshot of a conversation and then posted it and the comments underneath was so fucking funny it was that daddy one I've literally got the conversation let me read it to you okay and then I'll tell you where she posted from and then I kept oh, talking so she to didn't her after post the whole thing huh? I, I did see something where, where she's I think it was her saying um Oh, I trolled him after and then... No, that was a different person. That was a different person who thinks that she was... She caught on that I was, like, fucking with her early on. Oh, so there's two people that said they've matched with me on that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think there'd be multiple. Multiple people. (coughs) But anyway, uh, some of the comments were just like, um, this man... (laughs) Definitely is has is this has div like domestic violence yeah, and, and like, he's a pedophile. Yeah. Call Holy him a pedophile, shit. like all this crazy shit. They were ripping Matt to shreds. Being like, you know, comedian or not, this is not funny. This is disgusting. What a pig of a man. So all these hundreds of women <laughs> think, that, think that Matt legitimately said this to this woman. So it's working. By the way, dumb. It's working. Daddy sees something he likes. Daddy wants to take you out. Seriously? Does that even work? Daddy senses some attitude. <laughs> Don't make Daddy upset. You know what happens when Daddy gets cross and cranky. Seriously? And then that's the conversation she took and posted in the group. And then after seeing this, I found the conversation and I continued the conversation. And then I say this. <clears throat> so she's posted about this. Oh, so, so she's posted about this. Back. So she's posted about you online now. <clears throat> and um in, oh and tried God. to humiliate you in front of hundreds of women, which this she did. Great. She did humiliate you. 18,000 to be exact. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, look, I'm sorry. I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> New to dating and I can't seem to get my banter going. How was your weekend? Did you watch Riverfire? <laughs> no. Lol, my weekend has been good so far. Today's my birthday, so just enjoying the day. How's your weekend going? Oh, wow. Happy birthday. I can pop off to the shops and get you a present if you like. What do you want for your birthday? My weekend has been okay. I had a massive fight with mum yesterday, which is kind of giving me massive anxiety. <laughs> no. New car will do, lol. Oh, I hope I, I, I hope you sort things out with your mum. <laughs> you can just have my car. I have a 2001 Suzuki Swift that I don't drive much anymore. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll sort it out. I just find it so embarrassing when she starts breastfeeding my baby stepbrother in front of my mates. Half the time her tits just hanging out there and Rattle, my baby brother, isn't even feeding. So she's literally just sitting there holding Rattle with her tit flopped out. 
and talking to my mates who then obviously make fun of me when she's gone. Like, am I crazy for asking her to just go to another room? <laughs> uh, no, that's totally understandable. I know, right? But it's natural and I'm being immature. Anyway, I'm sure you don't want to hear about my my mum issues. <laughs> Any plans for your birthday? And then she hasn't replied. Dude, that is fucked. If she honestly thinks that your brother's name's Rattle. <laughs> R-A-D-D-L-E. Rattle. How could she come back to the conversation yeah, after no, what she did to me? That's what I mean. That's after what, what I mean. she did to me. Oh, She's man. just sitting there with that in the back of her mind. Like, I just fucking roasted this yeah. guy in front of you so would, many women. It would be so good if that's the girl that you married one day. Huh. <laughs> if somehow that's the one. I oh, think that's man. The one. <sighs> Rattle. Oh, man, that is an interesting name. What was that beautiful word you said before? Wailt? Wailt. Or something. <laughs> Wailt. Wailt. Yeah, Wailt. Um, did we hear anything back about the one about the dumb kids? No, nothing. Didn't hear anything about Maylin and Jess's oh, friend. Damn, I'm really hoping she says something, though. Anyway, here's another one. <clears throat> so Matt starts the conversation. Bulk maggots in my bins. Any advice? <laughs> <laughs> switch it switch it with the neighbours done thanks for that so how's your weekend <laughs> have you been standing up or sitting down more <clears throat> perfect I would say a good half half but currently sitting down the neighbour on my other side saw me swapping my bin with my other neighbour and she shook her head <laughs> do, do you think that means she wants to fuck me I'm curled up in a ball on my kitchen floor struggling to breathe too much mulch 100% <laughs> she does too much mulch uh, I just put a note in her mailbox saying, I know I know you want to fuck me, but I'm married. Yeah, I've been mulching my garden and I've been breathing in the dust. I think I should have worn a mask or something because now it's quite hard to breathe. Feels like pressure in my lungs a bit. Haha, <clears throat> <laughs> make sure you're there to see the response. Oh yeah, that doesn't sound good, hey. I keep coughing now too. Really hard. I might call my mate, actually. She's a nurse. She might have some advice. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. <clears throat> I'm fully short of breath now. My brother is coming to take me to the hospital. Holy shit, I can't believe this is happening. Yeah, that is a bit intense. I'm fucked. They've just put me on an o oxygen mask and are rushing me in to get a chest x-ray. I'll keep you posted. I still really want to get to know you. Might not be able to message you for a bit. No, that's okay. You take care of yourself. And then I didn't reply that night and she, she messages the next morning. How are you doing? Oh my God. Spend the night in emergency. No. They're still running tests. I'm hooked no. up to a ventilator. They did a chest x-ray and found large amounts of mulch embedded in my lungs. It's really hard to flush it out though, so they're considering surgery. Fucking hell, I wish I didn't inhale so deeply with my mouth as wide open as possible. I could feel bits going in, but I had no idea it was dangerous. <laughs> Holy shit, I didn't know that that could happen. Oh. Yeah, it's really rare, but it's because I had my, <laughs> literally had my mouth stretched open as far as it can go and was breathing in as deeply and quickly as possible. So, so ah. dumb of me, I could feel the dust going down my throat. I'm kind of scared now. <laughs> but why, but why, why are you wide mouth breathing? <laughs> I was really puffed and my nose is blocked. I did, and I kind of like the smell and taste of much, so I, so I didn't think anything of <laughs> it. just kept oh, no. breathing hard and fast with my mouth stretched open to its absolute limit. <laughs> <laughs> and then she replies laughing <laughs> right it makes sense I'm sorry you go from serious to like what the fuck and the, and the image I have in my head is pretty hilarious <laughs> yeah I was not expecting this well what the fuck I can't believe our conversation has literally started like this <clears throat> Doctor just said they might have to keep me overnight again. I fucking hate hospitals. Make it fun. Chat up the old nurses and the old ones. Make their day. It's hard for people to un understand me because of the oxygen mask. <laughs> but I will try and hit on them by getting as erect as possible and just nodding at it when they come in. <laughs> Don't forget the wink. Raise an eyebrow, look down, then nod and wink and grin. Ha ha. Ha ha. Perfect. Thank you, for, <laughs> thank you for being so cool about this. I know it's probably a bit weird, but you've actually helped me while I was freaking out. I legit thought I was going to die for a bit yesterday. <laughs> would have offered to come save you, but thought that would have been a bit weird. Can you imagine if we get married and people ask us how we met? That's if I survive this. Fingers crossed. Uh, wow, what a story. What are you wearing? Jeans. 
Hmm. I'm, I'm wearing a hospital gown. <laughs> I'm sprinkling hair into my bedpan, or I've been shitting so the nurses think I shaved of hair. See, I knew you'd have fun. <laughs> Dr- droplets of steam. <laughs> droplets of steam pulling on my arched back. String dangling from my mouth, and I pretend that I'm invisible. <laughs> uh-huh. Do you have a fever? <laughs> I open my mouth, and the sound of an aeroplane taking off comes out. <laughs> I-, I sling my arm at you and gesture towards my ball. My ball is huge, and the skin is tight and smooth. Maggots writhe, and I lose vision. Stay with me. (laughs) Keep going. I arch my back more and more until my spine snaps in half and I can rest my head on my ass. I vomit huge black tits out and start talking about the economy. It's written on my skin and my eyes pop. Well, you're a basket of entertainment. Maggots explode from my ball and the stench renders the nurse and nurses unconscious. My family asks to turn life support off, but I'm not even on it. Emotional trauma creates rage and my brain bleeds. I'm not human anymore. I am mulch. (laughs) <laughs> that is the best story ever So I want to see this hospital again Hey, sorry for the slow replies I've been getting harassed at work My boss feels me So this is a few days later now This is like, I didn't My talk to her I didn't, I didn't talk to her for like four days And so I come back with Hey, sorry for the slow replies I've been getting harassed at work My boss feels me Oh, you have quite the life, don't you? It's making me hook two fingers into each one of my eye sockets and pull down with all my power. I'm still smiling while I do it, though. <laughs> and she's like, she just said, well, I hope you got what you needed. Have a good one. Which kind of made me feel a bit bad. Oh, she's like, fuck. Because she realized that I was lying about the whole mulch thing and I was just fucking... I am mulch, like you've just converted to it. <laughs> At this fucking breakdown and now you're mulch. I can't Dude, believe she hung on. I wish once she said that like, oh, I'm to wink down and like she gave you the tip with the erection to try and wink at him about your erection. Which you said that you took her advice and now you're getting arrested or some <laughs> shit. Yeah. Oh, but still, fuck. That was one of the best ones. I really enjoyed that. That was fucking quality. Oh, man. Matt starts with, I was neglected as a child, so you'll have to put up with some pretty toxic behaviors of mine. <laughs> how are you? And then she didn't reply. And then I replied a few days later. I said, how are you? I know. I heard you. Well, why wouldn't you just even reply? It's just common courtesy. If you weren't so fucking attractive, I would have snapped my phone in half. Your intro message just didn't catch my attention enough. Well, glad something something stopped you from snapping your phone. Can't be replacing phones left, right, and center in this economy. I just like to let people know that I'm a really toxic person so that I'm not wasting my time with anyone who can't handle that. I want to smear my scent on you so other alpha males know oh. you're mine. <laughs> Good for you and your toxicity. Not sure if the world needs more of that, though. And wouldn't say I can't handle it, more that I'd rather have a drama-free life. You can keep dreaming about doing that. It's not like I'm being toxic on purpose. Some people are born tall, some people are born with brown hair, and some people are born with a really toxic personality. It's not really my fault. I would change it if I could. Way to judge me when I'm just trying to be honest. Can we make out? Hmm, I wouldn't say I'd agree with that statement. Toxic traits are something people learn from their environments and influential people in their lives. So in that case, you could change if you really wanted to. But hey, that's a you thing, not for anyone else to fix or slash change. And never judgmental. Takes more than a few messages to get a make out. That's not true. Some people are born narcissists or psychopaths regardless of environmental factors. Like I had a crazy loving childhood. My mum and dad were so attentive to me, but I drowned our pet cat in a puddle of my own urine and blamed it on my dumb fat sister. But anyway, let's talk about you. Why are you single? You're beyond sexy and I want you. Oh Oh my god! Well, that's the million dollar question now, isn't it? Partly because it's my choice to to be, but also there's some pretty toxic, emotionally unavailable people out there. Oh, that's perfect. We sound like a great mash then. Can we go to dinner as long as the place isn't too expensive? And how do you get that we would be a good match? Because you say you choose toxic people and I'm super toxic. Once, when I was a kid, I lied to mum and told her dad was abusing me. They fully had a massive argument. (laughs) Does that turn you on that I'm a bit evil? 
Oh. And never said that was a good thing and actually does the opposite. Oh, come on. We both know how freaky things would get if we slapped our naked bodies together, <laughs> squelching and mashing our sweaty oh. hot bags together. Oh, stop. <laughs> keep, <laughs> keep dreaming there, Matty boy. Slippery skin sliding around on each other, bulging slimy packets of meat losing control and slopping into open mouth holes. <laughs> I know this is driving you crazy. More like insane and not in a good way. Hard phallus journeys towards wetness and we roar like lions. Again, keep dreaming. Opening found and my essence is injected. My wings explode out of my lats and I take flight. Another bag fills, I scream as I fly away. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, she didn't write back to that? No, she didn't write back He's to that. He's got wings from <laughs> his back. Another bag filled. <laughs> he's he's, he's so rough. He's dude. calling her a bag. <laughs> <laughs> Soft. <laughs> oh my oh. god, man, that was some good ones. I really enjoyed that. All right, let's move right along, That's everybody. Good. Can you wear that wig at your wedding? Yeah, I think I might wear this outfit. Let's have a quick bong, break, bong, break, and we'll be back with Q and A. All right, guys, it's time for Q&A. Mm. And this is a segment where we answer the questions that you leave on the Mighty Mark of Fully Actual YouTube channel. We answer the most liked questions first. So once you're done commenting your question, have a scroll through and like the other questions you want us to answer, man. All right, guys, let's do it. You have all the questions and we have all the answers and we've got lots of dances for you. It sounded like a little a little horse galloping. <laughs> that should be the sound that plays instead of our senses. Oh. <laughs> Don't you think so? Oh. It'd be too light. <laughs> it sounded oh, like man. galloping. I'm going home. Oh. Shit. And then I get on a horsey. All right, first question is from Brian Layton, and he has asked... How would you know that? Ha <laughs> ha. Are you fucking with me? Uh, Matt, come on. Did you read the questions? Holy shit, the donut's off finally. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh. All right. All right. It is from uh, 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 Joe Listaken. Listaken. Brian Layton, and he's asked, depending where he's from, um, question for the pod: What do Matt's coworkers think about one of their fellow employees hoarding his baby gravy in a bottle? Yeah, I'm gonna put it out there and say maybe one of them knows and the rest don't, and I'm I'll hide that forever. But like, what if they watch? If they watch, I mean, so they will actually. There's a kid, Aiden, at work. He says he watches it a lot. I don't know if he actually does, but he Aiden. Says, yeah, Aiden watches it a lot, so he must know. <laughs> but he's never mentioned it, so I don't know. What would happen he's if you? He's probably scared. What would him. happen if you pushed him up against the wall in the male's toilets and just patched him <laughs> really passionately? What would happen? <laughs> I'm just picturing him watching this bit right now. It'd be fucking hilarious. What do you reckon he'd do? I don't know. He'd probably <laughs> fuck me up. He loves his UFC. He'd probably take me down and, <laughs> and try and choke me out in the toilet. Well, watch out, Hayden. Aiden. 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 Aiden, 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 Aiden. If you if are, al are alone with Matt, just know he's thinking about pinning you against the wall <laughs> and kissing your mouth as hard as he can. You Whenever you're him. alone, you should surprise him. Whenever and do it you're tomorrow. alone with him, he wants to kiss you hard. Oh no, wall. stop! I don't. I don't want him to see this. Grab you by the collar. <laughs> push I don't want no, 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 stop! The cock. Oh, stop! Oh. No, no, none of that. No cock. He's gonna finger you, Aiden. You went too far. Okay, You've gone too sorry. far. Sorry. Next question. Next question is from Mark Howden, 7161. Uh, are you guys 
back I, doing streaming on Twitch or are you guys having a break to focus on other things like the website? Man, it's hard to fit in time. Yeah. We were going once a week for a little while, but now like well, you yeah. get to the end of the week and you're like... It's like we'd love to end our weeks doing it and that's the goal, but like even we days like today. We probably could have done it today, but we just well, weren't and that's it. What do you mean? It. It's, fucking, it's 20 to 8 p.m. and we haven't even finished You guys day. wormed for like an hour. Dude, yeah, dude, we needed to have a rest after filming for fucking from fucking 9 a.m. to fucking 4 p.m. That is a rest. You sit yeah, on the couch. Sleep. <clears throat> I did have a sleep. I went blind, dude. I've been standing up too much. It's been a big day. It's been a big week. And Aiden, if you're watching, <laughs> no, he will stop. Not use a condom. Oh my god, this raw is getting... dog, yeah. But yeah, we are going to try and do more twitching. It's just we need to find time. It's going to take me to HR. You have all the. All right. Next question from Dylan's two three seven six. Yeah, doubt it, but go on. <laughs> Who's everyone's hall pass? Sorry, Matt. Why is it sorry, Matt? Because I haven't got anyone to have a hall pass to go oh, on. Oh, right, 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 right. So hall pass, do you know what that means? Who who you would get to fuck if you met other them. than your wife? It's the fucking dude. Um, <laughs> the dude? <laughs> who he... He, yeah. he directed E.T. Steven, Steven Spielberg. Spielberg. That guy. I'd probably go fucking oh, Jamiroguay. Margot Mar Mar Robbie is very fucking yeah, I can smoking hot. Matt, who would you go? Well, if I had a girlfriend, yeah, I can you'd go, go Peter Peter Sterling. No, <laughs> Peter Hellier. Peter Hellier. Nobody knows who Peter Hellier is. Well, that's look so him up. Racist. That's Matt's hall pass, I reckon. Um, I've had a hall pass. Um, I don't know. Um. What's the Grande girl? Rod Steven Spielberg. Ariana, Ariana Grande. Oh, yeah, yeah. She She's is pretty very, smart. Yeah. Yeah, holy fuck, she is, eh? What about the guy from Prison Break? <laughs> yeah, dude, he's Australian. <laughs> I would. He also plays the devil in Blade 3. Okay, Matt, don't, oh. just, 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 just <laughs> don't know that shit. <laughs> Show me what you've got, Blade. Oh. 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 <laughs> Fuck Next no. question, man. Quickly. It rain. It rain. It's raining down on it us. It rain. Uh, the next one is from Ryborg, uh, Ryborg7. Um, do you guys think there's a chance of getting Chris Lilly on the podcast? Yeah. I, don't, I saw the top comment from like- That was top comment. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What the fuck? Like, yes. Obviously, we would love to get Chris Lilly on, but he's like super introverted, um, really like elusive guy who is like a genius. So like, why the fuck would he come on here? But yeah, obviously, we would love to get Chris Lilly on. Uh, when I saw that, I was like, thought that there was, was something going on. a good sort of on. mind trick by them yeah. to make us think that he knew them or he, he had knew spoken us. to them. Yeah, it's like, yeah. I, I it's thought- a very good lie. I, I thought that- I reckon he knows you. 100%. No way. I checked on Instagram. He doesn't. He might not follow you, but I reckon he knows who you are. Yeah, but like he wouldn't like our- I was line. hanging out with Shut him the other day. How do you know he wouldn't like? Know. You were hanging out with him the other day. Yeah. He has oh, no really? idea who we are. Yeah. Michael hung out with him for like eight hours. They went uh, went to dinner, and he had no idea who Michael was the whole time. <laughs> no, but yeah, Chris Lee is not. And if he did see our online shit, he'd probably be like, "Like that's kind of shit." How do you know? Because it's like it's we're we're just like, you know, we film, we just fuck with each other and do silly little. Well, for, can you just and, well can you message him and just see what happens? All right, we'll call him. I'll I'll hang out with him again this weekend. Message him right now. To say, hey, we've got a podcast and our fans want you sent. Yeah, that's good. I've oh, seen. Oh, shitting. Wow, imagine that. He'd be an Instagram addict. He'd just be like, <laughs> straight away. Yes, I'm coming. Yes, I'm coming. <laughs> and then we'll hear a knock at the door. And he'll hover through. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a Q&A done, everyone. Let's move right along. Hey, to the prank call. Oh. I know we have um, all right, P.O. Box, guys. This is where we... Do we have a thing for that? We don't have a jingle for that. No, yet. we don't. But, um, um, do, uh, do you reckon... Do you reckon how we do with the... The, the, the uh, sponsors? P.O. Box. Yeah. Say yes. Um, and we get a little thing pop up on the screen. Do you reckon we can do that with our P.O. Box? P.O. Box 256 Tagum 4018. Okay, if you want to send a shit, we open it live on the podcast. It's always there when it's on Matt's shot. You'll see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It's next to his head. And um, also, um, fucking, um, like, Matt will eat anything you send. He just put Almost. petrified shit in his mouth. 
Half and an hour he, that ago. chili fucked you up the other week. Almost. I'm man, wigs are so fucking itchy. I've Hot. adapted. Hot. Sorry. All right, this is from um, Carlton. You have, and we have, and we've got. Volume. Actually, this has, there's no name on this, so it could be anthrax. Oh shit! We've we been know. wanting anthrax for so no, long. No, please stop saying that. It scares <laughs> me. It's such a bad death, dude. Like I've looked it up. It oh, is. dude, don't tell me about it. I don't, stop talking about it. Yeah, sorry. Because someone out there will be like, yeah. Boys, this looks like it could be good. Oh, oh it's maple syrup, dude. That looks really yum. Oh, it's from. This must be from Canada. No, maybe oh. not. Wow, show the camera. Isn't that beautiful? Maple syrup. Read it, read it, Matt Brown. It does say, uh, I can't say the name. It's Wapoos. Wapoos Estates Winery. Racist. Oh, no, it's in on Ontario. Is that Ontario? Yeah, that's Canada. Can you read that? Well, there's other things in here. It could be dirty. Show me. I'm getting wow, bored of that cool. one. So this is um, 100% pure maple syrup. That drug Dude, I've got to try I this. I need to see that. Dude, I've got to try this. This is 100%. Wait, be careful. I don't know. I don't know. Smell that. Oh my God, that smells so good. Oh, wow. I enjoy that one again. Oh, boys, there's so it's much honey. in here. Oh, there's a note. <coughs> there's a note here. Hang on. Do not eat the maple syrup. <laughs> oh, hang on, there's more. Oh, look, a little Canada magnet. I love magnets. Dude, whoever sent I've us been this? thinking of, of getting a, a magnet collection going. Is that weird? And this could be it. Now, this is, uh, I can't really say what it is, but it's hair from the body. <laughs> it's pubic hair. We can say pubic hair, can't we? I don't know. We'll put it with a jar. Thank you so much, whoever sent us this. It's it's everything that we need. We'll add this to the collection. Uh, and I also got a mug from Tim Hortons. There's a little, little chip in it. Got a bit damaged, but Tim Hortons. Dude, this maple syrup is going to go great on our bacon. Holy shit. Well, and a magnet. That's that's a kind gift. Yeah, There's a thank note. You. It's like all thoughtful things. There's a note here. Gift. Thank you so much, dude, or, or lady, whoever sent it. Oh, the writing's quite... Quite, quite, quite. All right. Hey, boys. Uh, thank you all. Uh, thank you for all the laughs you are given through out of the years. This is hard to read. And on the podcast. Love listening to it in the gym. Um, fuck. Oh, love listening to it at the gym. Be become uh, I get a lot of laughter when I'm there, um, especially with Matt's Tinder adventures. I've included some goodies from both home for you, boys. And sorry, Matt. The leaf is a magnet <laughs> and, and not a sticker. But, dude, I love it. I love it. The magnet is cool. It's I'm going to put it on my fridge. fridge. Um, also, see. <laughs> also, couldn't bring myself to send pubes and so also oh, beard hairs. Ah, okay. okay. Beard hairs well, are included. There you go. That's, that's um, different. Thank you, dude. Can't wait to see you. Le can't wait to see you, Legends live. Are you coming to the live? Wow, that's dedication. If you come to the live, dude, that's that's a big trip. Um, sincerely, Mike. P.S. Fla la 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 la. Well, we'll see you at the podcast little finale, Mike. Dude, thank you, Mike. That'll be fucking we'll see him in like two months. Yeah, that smells, that's man. It's so quick. That's going to come around like that. So, the, man, this year, got, everything goes fast, bro. One week's like that, gone boom. Just the other fucking, like two hours ago, it was Monday. Now it's fucking Friday. Yeah, you could put hell? your coffee in here. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. That's P.O. Box that's done. Thank you very much, everyone. That's so uh, crazy, huh? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. <laughs> Man! It's time for our final segment. And our new segment has an incredible new sponsor. This prank call segment is brought to you by Mother Energy Drinks. <laughs> Get up, ya! They got all sorts of flavors. They got the Kiwi Sublime. They got the original. You got the fucking, you got the fucking zero sugar ones. You got all these kinds of different ones. So bloody go as soon as the convenience store gets caffeine in your throat. throat. So right. many pretty colors. So for this week's prank call, let's call a restaurant and making an order. And while I'm ordering, I will be screaming for help. Brad, <laughs> oh. can I have you? Hey, hey, man, can I please make a um, pickup order? Is that okay? You guys still open? Okay, what will I do? Um, yeah, can I please get... Um, uh, let's start with, like, uh, one of the honey chickens. You guys have honey chicken, right? Yeah, one honey chicken. Yeah, no problem. Help, right? help me. Help me. Help me. And does that usually come with rice, or do I have to get rice on the side? You need to order. Steam my or fly rice. 
Um, let's go fried rice for the honey chicken. Help, help me, help me, help me, please help me. Um, and then I'll also get, um, you guys got Mongolian beef, right? Are you all right, sir? Mongolian beef. One last fried rice. So one. And one Mongolian beef. One fried rice, yeah. One honey chicken, one Mongolian beef. Help, help me, help. I'm in trouble here, help me! Something's not right! Help me! Do you guys do any of those, like, for entrees, have any of those um, spring rolls? One serve a spring roll? Yeah, one serving a spring rolls, please. Help! Help me! Hey! Look at me! My life is in danger! Um, what was that, sorry? Are you alright, sir? Yeah, yeah, sorry, I'm just asking what the other family members want. One second. Okay. Help me! Holy shit! I'm fucking dying! I'm not even kidding! You need to come right now! Help me! Ah! Ah! Help me! And can I also get, um, what's the other beef one you guys have? Like the sizzling Sichuan beef or some shit? Sichuan beef. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Sichuan beef, right. Um, and so I'll need to get another couple of. Help me! I don't have long left! Oh, oh my so god! I'm here, mate. What was that? You need to ring back. No, no, I'm ready to order now. <laughs> oh my god, you should ring back when he's oh, screaming dude. for help. Oh, I think that's how you talk to your family. <laughs> that's how you find dude. out what they want to eat. That guy is a terrible citizen. <laughs> yeah, he what? did ask, are you all right, sir? He did actually, he? yeah, he was like, are you all right, said, sir? I thought he said, you want... Oh, did he say that? Are you all right, sir? I didn't hear that. I thought he said, um, are you are you right, like, to order? Like, oh, no, nah, I'm pretty sure he did check up, but then... Damn maybe. it, I wish I heard that, because then I would have been like, no, man, I'm, I'm not all right. I'm actually in quite a lot of danger right now. <laughs> I did my Matt Brown Tinder yeah, voice for was, some reason. Yeah, that's really you. <laughs> 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 oh, man, this, this rain. Sorry if you guys can hear the rain. It is really yeah, it's plummeting. It's pelting down. But anyway, that prank call is brought to you by Mother Energy Drinks. That's the end of the podcast, everybody. We hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, tickets to our live show are in the description. All right, there's only th like 277 of them. So get in quick because they've already been on sale to our website members. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Please give us come. A five star wait, review. Wait, 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 please wait, give us wait, a five star wait, review on Spotify, wait, just man. Please buy a ticket. Please, please. Best, 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 please. Best, 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 There's going to be merch there too. With the best. With the best. Some weird best, shit's going to happen. Wait, 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 wait,